Welcome friends, let's answer this question. It's from the 1997 AP Calculus BC test, question 19 from the multiple choice section. The graph of y equals f of x is shown in the figure above. If a sub 1 and a sub 2 are positive numbers that represent the areas of the shaded regions, then in terms of a sub 1 and a sub 2, find the value of this expression that consists of two integrals. So first let's just focus on this piece. Let's write it down in terms of a sub 1 and a sub 2. So it would be the following, the definite integral here from negative 4 to positive 4 of f of x dx. Now here, look at the picture. This part, I'm going to emphasize it. This part is already positive because you see it's above the x-axis. That means when you write that down, you would just put a sub 1. On the other hand, this part in red right here, well, this is given to us as a sub 2, but that's the absolute value of that. The value of the integral, because integrals can be positive or negative, the value of the integral would be the negative of a sub 2. So you do here, therefore, minus a sub 2, not plus a sub 2. And notice that this has limits from negative to positive 4. That's why you have to consider what happens from negative 4 all the way to positive 4. And think in terms of correct signs for integrals. Let's look at the next part now. So that second piece that says, first I'm going to do a do, so I'm going to do the definite integral from negative 1 to positive 4, and then f of x, and then dx. Let's focus on this piece. So again, this is just referring to this portion of the graph below the x-axis, and above the curve, essentially, that area. is given as a sub 2, which is the absolute value of it, which means the value of the integral is, again, the negative of it. So down below you put negative a sub 2. However, we are also told that we want to double the result. That's just what the question says. So that means just multiply the left side by 2 and multiply the right side by 2 this way. Now let's combine the two pieces here to get the final answer. So put down the expression for the first integral. So a sub 1 minus a sub 2. And I have to be again kind of careful. You see right here, let me emphasize this so you understand where the things are coming from. There's a negative between the integrals. So that means it's going to come down here as a negative. And within the parentheses, you're going to now put this, negative 2 times a sub 2, because we found it to be the value of that integral there from negative 1 to 4 doubled. And then you can clean up this part of it to get the final answer. So this would be a sub 1, and then minus a sub 2, and then plus 2, and then a sub 2. Add up the results, a sub 1, and then plus a sub 2. That is the answer then. In other words, the correct answer then is this choice D. That's it. So please leave a like, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video.